Welcome to our church, New Life Pilsen. Come and join us at the altar to wash in the presence of the Lord 15 minutes before its service. If you're interested in purchasing the sermon on CD, please see Joe in the Sambu. We invite you to our Monday night Bible study with Sergio and Rosie Ramirez here at the church at 7 p.m. We invite you to our Wednesday Bible studies. You can join us at 7.30 here at the church with Salvador Villanueva, our bilingual Bible study. Or you can join us at the English service Bible study with Mike and Bo at 1634 North Artesian at 7 p.m. Join us on newlifefilson.com for a whole house internet prayer on the second and fourth Saturday of the month at 6.30 a.m. All are invited to our Moving Forward School of Ministry. Sign up today. Please see someone in our information booth in the back to get yourself started. Interested in learning more? Please come and join us in the School of Ministry every Saturday morning at 8.30 a.m. We're inviting all the youth for epic youth service here on Friday nights at 7.30 p.m. here at the church. Don't forget to keep praying for our daughter church in St. Louis for God to keep blessing them. All college and career age people are invited to join at Connection every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Yes, everybody. I want everyone to stand up with me and I want to welcome you guys on this beautiful Sunday morning. We've been given the privilege and honor uh, to be able to wake up, to be able to stretch our hands and be able to worship a living God this afternoon. So I want to welcome you to New Life Pilsen. I'll be reading from 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 3. And it says, I thank God whom I served as my forefathers did with a clear conscience as night, right, and day. I constantly remember you in my prayers. Recalling your tears, I long to see you that I may be filled with joy. I have been reminded of your sincere faith, which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice. And I am persuaded now lives in you also. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. So do not be ashamed to testify about our Lord or ashamed of me, his prisoner. But join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God, who he saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. So join us today in worshiping Almighty God. Join us today in worshiping a living God, a God of truth, a God that will fulfill every need. And I, and I encourage you today to just worship. Worship like never before. Worship like you don't care who's around you. Worship like you don't care what the week brought to you. Just worship him and see what he does. See how he shows up every single time. Father, we come before you and we thank you, Lord, because you're an awesome God. You're the King of kings. You're the Lord of lords. You're the first and the last, Lord. And I praise you for every single thing that you've done in my life. I praise you and I worship you, oh Lord. I thank you for the Bible. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your anointing, oh Lord. I thank you for your, for, for your presence, oh Lord. And I pray that this afternoon you may fill this place, oh Lord, and fill your people, oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we, work, we usher in your presence, Lord. You are welcome here this afternoon. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Church, let's sing to worship. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. I live to worship you. To worship you, I live. 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 To worship you
we come today, Lord God, this afternoon to worship you, Father. Oh, we come to worship you, Father God, and lift up your name. We come to worship the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We give him all the glory and all the praise.
Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor, give him a high five, and say, I'll sing to God. And if your wife's next to you, tell her you'll sing to her too. Amen. <laughs> if you can't sing, do like Mariah Carey, lip sync. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can be seated this afternoon. <laughs> so good to have you guys in the house of the Lord. So good to be in the presence of God. We celebrated our 4th of July, our independence as a country. We may not be um, going the way we want it to go, but we still live in the best country in this world. Amen? Amen. We are free to worship. We're free to uh, serve God. We don't have to worry about our lives being in danger. We don't have to worry about any of those things because God has given us a free country and uh, our armed forces have um, continued to fight for our freedom. So we thank the Lord for those that have served in our armed forces and those that are currently serving right now. And one of our own that is um, actually um, retiring from the Army, Lasado, it's actually his birthday today. So we want to wish Lasado a happy birthday. I saw it on Facebook, but his, his little sister made sure she told me today, it's my brother's Lost his birthday, so we want to make sure we want to wish Lost a happy birthday. He, he's put many years into the Army to continue to fight for our freedom. He's one of ours, and if you didn't know, he's um, Aurelia's son, one of our ushers in the back right there. Wave, in case you didn't know who she was. That's her son, and we know Delphia has served in the Air Force, so we thank her also for her service that she's done. And anybody else who served, and if I don't know, thank you. Those watching on the internet, and if you serve, thank you for serving in our armed forces so that we continue to have this freedom to worship the Lord. We don't take this for granted. We know that God has given this uh, freedom, and we want to continue to pray for our United States of America. Amen? Amen. Today, we're going to pick up our tithes and our offering. We just have a couple of a quick announcements we want to share with you is that if you're interested in getting baptized, if you have not been baptized in water and you want to be baptized in water, you want to follow the commandment of Jesus Christ that says um, to be baptized after salvation, right after the service, my wife will be in the back uh, signing you up. My wife, Yolani, will be in the back signing you up. So make sure that you sign up. It's July 27th. Uh, and in about two weeks, we'll have the class. If you haven't taken the baptism class, uh, we'll be giving you a baptism class so you know exactly what you're getting yourselves into. Uh, so this uh, July 27th will be baptism day. It's a Saturday. So we're going to celebrate, have a good time, and rejoice. So everybody, we want to make sure that you're out there rejoicing with us and that we can be also a light to the neighborhood. We're going to uh, one of our members' houses. Uh, they have a pool there, so we're going to be baptizing there in the pool, and we want to be a witness to the neighborhood so that the other people around the neighborhood can come and see what's going on, man. What an awesome day it would be that during that baptism, somebody comes to accept Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. 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 So we need a crowd. You know, wherever there's a crowd, people come. We want to see what's going on. So if there's only three, four people there, it's not going to be that crowd. We need the crowd. We need you guys. So even though you're not getting baptized and none of your family is getting baptized, one of your members, uh, family members of the church is getting baptized. So make sure that you're there July 27th. Um, so it's going to be a great time and a great opportunity to see people uh, just dedicate their life to Jesus Christ by taking that next step of water baptism. Um, we're going to get ready also to pick up our missions offering at the end of the service. This is the first Sunday of the month. As you know, it's our mission Sunday, and we pick up our missions offering. So we're going to get ready to collect our tithes and our offering. Also pray for our one-by-one -one cards. Those are people that you've been praying for to come to know Jesus Christ.